All right, guys, so we are here today using the LR Gohan team. By the way, kind of a little bit of a spoiler, I only waited one day to put up this video. Currently recording it in the morning, uh, Monday morning, 1016. So I am going to be going with my LR Gohan. If you didn't see my video I uploaded yesterday, it was a compilation of all last week's videos, and you'll see how I obtained my LR Gohan. He was the first character I actually went full on to get to level 150 right off the bat. Uh, and I have a really nice team set up for him right now. Um, actually, one of the better teams for him. He's a, He has all the good units. He has the Goku he links really well with. At least one of them is going to link really well with his Super Saiyan, obviously. That Goku has a um, also has is a key orb manipulator. So he's really good to run side by side with that Gohan just because they link very well. I have LR Piccolo and I have two other orb changers. That's Android 13 and Android 18. So they're really good for that team as well. And then I also have on rotation the, the other kid Gohan who is the super type support unit for intelligence. Right. Uh, and I have a friend Let's LR Gohan. I actually got a lot of friend LR Gohans. Apparently Bandai was giving out LR Gohans like candy. I'm not complaining though. Um, it took me a little bit. I'd say it took me a total of 800 stones to get him. Um, I believe it was like 8, 800 or... 800 or more, <laughs> maybe a thousand, <laughs> but either way, I got him. I definitely went more ham on the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner, um, not Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner, and I'm probably, I may go hard on the Super Saiyan Gogeta banner when that comes up. I don't know. Really depends. I'm, at this point, since I do have LR Gohan, I might consider just going for the Hybrid Saiyan team because I really like that team. That's That may be the only category that I go for. Uh, that's why I don't think I'm going to go for the Super, the Super Saiyan Gogeta, the Intelligence one, but at the same time, he is a really good unit, and there's a lot of good teams I could run with the Mono Intelligence now that I have LR Gohan, and I have all, well, essentially all the optimal units. I think the only thing I'm missing is another LR Gohan to link with LR Gohan, you know, the base form Gohan, but um, either way. All right, so now this is where I have to make a decision whether I want to keep the Key Orb Manipulator with him or the Piccolo, because Piccolo's going to be on next round to be linking buddy with the other LR Gohan. Doesn't really matter though at this point, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and we're gonna keep Goku here, and then we're gonna throw LR Gohan, and then LR Gohan's gonna hit for a lot of damage, as he typically does. And now with Piccolo, we're gonna go here. Actually, Piccolo kinda looks like Super Android 13 for a second. <laughs> anyway, um, my Goku also has a chance to stun. So this is a pretty damn nice team. I never looked up like the optimal team for LR Gohan, I just know he gets a lot of freaking damage with the Orb Manipulator, so I base my entire team around him. Plus the Kid Gohan support. So, um, I think there's another key orb. Well, okay, so I know that the Weir, so when the Weir comes out, the fusion between, the, look at that, 1.9 million. Jesus Christ. And he doesn't have crits. That's, I mean, it kind of sucks, but just keep that in mind. He doesn't have crits because he doesn't have any dupe path unlocked. I did get the full base dupe system of mine, though. He also does link with the kid Gohan, so that's always good to have them too there. Um, oh, yeah, but what I was saying is the Weir. The Weir, if you guys don't, aren't aware of that, he, um, he changes two different key orb types to... Uh, which we'll call two one key orb type. So he, he helps out LR Gohan a lot. By the way, that was a big mistake. Always go for the Bardock first, the Mass Saiyan first. If you go for him first, he, he attacks the most. So like Toa, yeah, that's Toa. So Toa doesn't do a lot of damage because she's tech type and you're bringing an intelligence team. So I usually go for the Mass Saiyan Bardock first. I was just more you know, talking to you, 3.8 million damage. Um, and then from there, I usually go after Mira. And after I go after Mira, then I'll go after Bardock. Also, um, one of the passives over there reduces uh, super attack on any of the people to uh, normal attack. So always make sure, because if it's LR Gohan, don't give him all the key orb. Save it for the next one, because key orb manipulation will make the other one hit a lot harder. So mine is good to go, and I have two key orb manipulators here. So this Gohan should be hitting pretty damn hard. Not to mention, he also should be doing a lot of healing. Let's take a look and see what he does. And not a lot, a lot of healing. I think he did about 20,000 healing. So that ain't bad. And again, we usually just use the key orb manipulators to set up for the next round. At least that's how I've been doing it. Hopefully my LR Gohan can just take out this freaking Bardock in one shot. Um, well, Gohan does actually dodge every once in a while. Oh, damn. No super attack there. God damn it. <laughs> I guess I didn't see that. What the heck am I doing? I don't know. But good morning, everyone. It's 1030 in the morning. And um, I just got out of the shower and I'm drinking my monster. <laughs> uh, but yeah, super happy about this. This is a really good unit. This is a really good setup. Um, Piccolo, I also like to keep um, whenever there's more enemies attacking. So Gohan does link better in the middle. We're going to go ahead and use a Sensu Bean. Gohan does work a lot better in the middle because he links both with both of these guys. You don't need to, but you can run him right in the middle for that. Plus Piccolo, because he has such a high defense, I'll go ahead and show you his defense right now. 78,000 defense. So I keep him between, especially because the physical Mira is over there. I uh, keep him along with him. 
Uh, there we go. Next round, I should also be going my LR Gohan, hitting off really good super attack. He should be able to take out uh, Mira with one shot next round, assuming this one gets a super attack, because I didn't pay attention to that either. So Piccolo got the crit. I don't, I don't really give Piccolo a lot of crits. Um, not, I, I just gave him full dodge. I typically give my defensive units full crits because they don't hit hard like Janemba, but that's also because Janemba is good against all type, but it defends against all types of units. So I figured if he's going to be reducing damage against all types of units, there's no reason for me to not give him crit because giving him dodge doesn't make sense because he's never going to take any damage as it is. I know there's a mixed consensus with everyone in the community with that, but that's just how I feel. So I'm sticking with what I want. Uh, Piccolo, on the other hand, he just has high defense, which doesn't really mean anything. Uh, yes, you can. With a high defense, it means you can have a more optimal chance of lowering the attack enough. But like going up against someone like Mira, who has type advantage, it doesn't work as well. So I gave him full dodge. But someone like Janemba, obviously, who has uh, passive skill as type advantage against everyone, he doesn't need it. He really doesn't need it. So uh, anyway, yeah, uh, that, that inherent dodge, though, does come into play, and it's pretty nice. Uh, I'm hoping for a fifth dew path actually to ever become unlocked. That would make life really freaking sweet. Uh, so you guys have been seeing this and how freaking badass it is. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm actually doing this and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use two items. We're going to use the poor, just because I want to showcase some of his damage. We got a decent setup here, nothing amazing. Um, and then we're going to use a ball for an attack plus 20%. So look at this, he has 58,000. He goes up to 68,000. Maybe it would have been more impactful if I got the orbs first. But essentially, 389,000 is his base right now, and he's just going to do a hell of a lot more damage. I'm, I'm going to guess um, 3 million damage. Well, damage reduction, but um, base should be close. Look at that. Nice dodge, Piccolo. I like it. So, I didn't, I didn't get my Piccolo to 100% either. I just gave him full dodge. That's all. I gave him full dodge, and I gave him a whole bunch of... Um, the, I think I gave him as much... 2.3 million. As much uh, health regeneration as possibly could. The enhanced health regeneration, just because his defense is so high. And if you don't know, health regeneration is based off of how high your defense stats is. Look at that. That one Gohan brought that freaking Bardock all the way down to, to one and a half freaking bar, uh, life, life bars. Freaking amazing. And then he goes after Android 18, and she just kind of brushes it off like, crap, you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, man. So, I know I did kind of promise that I would give you guys the, uh, oh, we can do that. The, uh, the one of my summonings that I did for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Uh, unfortunately, I completely forgot to do it when I started recording this, and, you know, it's only 10 o'clock, 10.30, so I, I just wanted to get stuff recorded for you guys. Also, apparently, you know, Stupid Me didn't think last night, if you watched last night's video that I released about the LR uh, Bojack that's coming out, you know, I should have just remembered Shattering the Limit because that is what you get when you Doken Awaken your Bojack from the Bojack event and Legendary Power. Power. Those are the two freaking Link skills that I just couldn't figure out. I was like, oh, I don't know what the heck they are. Well, it kind of just makes it's common sense. But there you go. Seven freaking um, Awakening Medals. Let's see if I hit a record or something. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I hit a record the other day. But um, that's the event. Super freaking easy, you know. I mean, it's really easy once you have an LR go on. <laughs> so that's going to be a thing for moving forward. We're using LR going on a lot of freaking events. By the way, I can't wait for the new Super um, on the... Okay, so 7 minutes and 6 seconds, and the best time I did was 5 minutes. So, and actually I used the same music team for that 5 minutes, and I used one of each item like I did here. So that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that freaking, the LR Gohan, can't wait for that when the new super event comes out for, Do uh, not Dokkan Battlefield, for, uh, so yeah, when that, once this new boss rush comes out, I will be going ham on it with that LR Gohan, trying to go in with a super team to see what happens. I think I should be good with him, um, I just need to look up really good teams that I can build with, with, uh, LR Gohan on it. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Um, hope you had fun in that video. I'm really psyched about having that LR Gohan. I didn't have to go with two ham on it. Did have to go ham, but not ham enough to where, you know, I regret it a little bit so i don't regret it i'm very happy that i got it but anyway make sure to subscribe if you're new here let me know what team you want me to see take on what event and i'll make sure to do it for you guys um i plan on doing um the, another event for the super saiyan 3 angel goku i'll just be taking my strength team against in the super saiyan 4 goku team i just awakened my bardock with those medals anyway so i'll showcase that for you anyway guys thank you for joining me here today and i'll catch you all in